Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, anyways, uh, one take. Uh, welcome back, guys. Uh, you should know who we are already. I, I don't know why you're starting on this episode if we don't. But uh, we have a guest with us. Uh, say hi, Jared. Yo. That's not, that's not. Okay, man, look, he's so cool. <laughs> I don't like your that. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, today is, uh, today's episode is number 14, which, uh, you know, we got to do the number bit. 14 is the number of forgetfulness. That's how you got to do the thing, the joke, one joke. <laughs> remember that? I did it. Uh, it's, um, <laughs> I did the joke. Um, in, hexa- in hexadecimal, uh, 14 is res- Re- uh, represented it by E. I did the other joke. Okay. <laughs> in golf, uh, apparently a player can have uh, no more than 14 clubs in a bag. Oh, you know, that's funny, actually, because I can't have more than 14 <laughs> in my mouth. You definitely are not going <laughs> to sit that out. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's been a minute, you? Uh, Everhood? We did. That was my uh, topic to bring up, you asshole. But we did finish Everhood. <laughs> um, we did finish Everhood, and now we're going to record Deltarune 2, right? It's the same game. It's the third game of the uh, Deltarune series no. right there. <laughs> no. If you guys want us to play Everhood, I mean, uh, Deltarune. Yeah. If you guys want us to play through Everhood again, <laughs> we just, we just no. our whole channel is just Everhood series. Yeah. If you guys don't know what uh, Everhood is, it's like uh, Deltarune and Undertale. So if you like that, check it out. You know, we just finished the whole series. You can binge it all in a day if you really wanted to. Exactly. Anyway. We're, I'm talking specifically to one person right now. Uh, you got to do it, bro. Christopher. At Christopher. <laughs> what the freak is... Anyways. Um, so, I'm not home anymore. Yeah, uh, there's, there's an imposter yeah. among us. He lost his home. Yeah, <laughs> it burnt to the ground after a long night of Valorant gameplay. Yeah, you you want to want to talk about our trip to where I uh, magically appeared. To so we took Donovan yeah. to Afghanistan. <laughs> that's, where he's, that's where he's going to school. Him? Yo! <laughs> I only knew my windows are open, so that, and I have roommates, so that's all they hear. Yes. Anyway. Now, now Donovan has roommates. Um, cause he is living in a college dorm, yeah. kind of, it's not really a dorm cause it's not on campus, but it is, a, it's a, it's a dorm. He's living with like yeah. seven other fucking people or six other yeah. people. So if some guy comes in, bro, yelling, uh, I apologize. I'm not cutting it. I can't. <laughs> like, hey bro, where's my pe- penis enlargement pill that came <laughs> <down?"> <laughs> <laughs> my we, we had plenty of ideas to do stuff, uh, to mess with his college roommates, but we'll get that later. Yeah. On yeah, on the way there, you know, we're chilling, we're listening to music. There's a bit of traffic. Uh, so basically, me, so me and Jarrett were in one car, and then Tyler and Sean were in their car, and I brought all my stuff. I brought my desktop, brought a crap ton of clothes, you know, the usual. Brought like a hundred shoes and a box with just chips, two <laughs> two spoons, two plastic bowls, and like some crude ass <laughs> paper the plates. Ice the ice maker. Oh yeah, we did stuff. take the ice maker. Dude, I'm so, one of my roommates already complained that I was like, hey bro, can you turn it off at night, bro? It's too loud. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, that is true. Cause I, I, what do you, I wasn't even use. I like for three days, I had it hooked up and I just wouldn't use it. So it just, melt would ju- the ice would just melt and then it would just replenish and then create more ice and they probably just heard that and it's like right next to their door they just, probably just heard that for a while perpetual just ice ma- melting and making that's fucked ice making sounds <laughs> but, yeah. but on our way tyler uh you know, well we were chilling to music and we were enjoying ourselves uh, a little sad because our boy's leaving but uh <laughs> to give context to this, we had taken another trip in which the same exact or similar thing had happened in which we almost died and, and had a we final destination. Or the second time. The second time we almost died, bro. Dude. No, oh, the first time I think was worse, but the second time was bad anyways. So we're driving. Okay. I would say, hold on. I would say the first time we would have died, like if it happened. <laughs> yeah. The second time we were more 
Well, let's clarify to the die. people what the second time is, because for the last yeah. two minutes, they're like, what the freak's the second and first, all right? The second time is when we were driving along, chilling, a cop zoomed past us, and we were like, okay, I am I was taking lead, because I, I have more driving experience, or whatever the fuck it was, I don't know. Um, so I, I merge over into another lane, we're chilling, we're listening to music, it's all fine, and then I see it. <laughs> I see the ladder. Bent. There is a huge, like, 12-foot fucking ladder covering the entire right lane of the freeway. And if I had stayed in that lane any two seconds later and not merged, we would have been effed. Like, just screwed. Not even... No, I'm telling you, probably less less than 15 seconds, Tyler merged to the left. I was like, oh, why is he merging? I was like, to the left. I was like, ah, that's whatever. I'll, I'll join him, too. And then, dude, I just... I was like, did I just see a freaking ladder in the street? It looked like it already got ran over already. Yeah, it had a huge train mark. The reason that was dangerous is because it's a giant hunk of aluminum, probably. And it's yeah. it was high enough off the ground that if I hit it, it would just, like, completely rip my bumper off. Probably ripped it under the car and, like, wrapped everything around my axles and then yeah. ripped the back bumper out to send a giant, huge pile of trash towards Donovan's car. Yeah. <laughs> like Because I was not even, like, five to, like, ten seconds behind you. So if you yeah. that, I couldn't have turned. Yeah. I, and there was two things. I either, like, if I was in that lane, I'd either have just straight slam and ruin my car or hit the brakes and have Donovan hit me from behind, which I mean, I do like it when you hit me from behind. Oh my. <laughs> anyway. Anyways, that was the second even, time. Not even five. Okay, I guess we're five. We're six minutes and 45 seconds in. All right. Should have just dropped right in here. Yeah, all right. So the first time, we had a final destination act, bro. Yeah. We, we were driving around in the middle lane, right? And we're just chilling. We're going, like, through the fucking valley or uh, through, like, the mountains of Hollywood. No. And, dude, no, this was on, like, like a really active, like, we were... Yeah, we were going to, like, the only way from, like the valley to like central LA, right? It was like through this mountain area. And we're just, we're just fucking going along. A fucking maintenance truck's like driving next to us. And we just like, you know, like 70 or whatever. Boom, the fucking ladder in the back of this truck flew oh, out. Yeah. And it was like perfectly, like if I was behind him, it definitely just came in and like cut my head off right then and there. I would have just witnessed Tyler and decapitated and then would have crashed and probably died. Yeah. I just saw that thing slide and then I looked behind and I saw a car approaching up like he's dead he's dead and I just saw him slow down a lot and I was like uh oh and then all of a sudden that car came zooming past like I was like okay I guess he didn't get murked yeah, yeah, so, and then, like, when it flew out, it was still going, like, 80 miles an hour, <laughs> just, like, sliding next to us. We were, like, racing it, bro. It was bad. <laughs> but if I was in that lane, bro, it's I gotta stay in the middle lane for the rest of my life. If there's two lanes, I'm just, I just die. Dude, if we see a ladder anywhere, bro, we see, like, a, a ladder, uh, a ladder radar, a ladder, a ladder, how, how do I mix those La- words again? Ladder. Uh, ladder R? Ladder. Ladder. You you changed the ER to an eight ER. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Ladder. Lidar? Uh, Speaking of accidents. Uh Jared. Jared. Yeah. Jared's Jared hit it from behind. No. (laughs) Jared, I want you to explain your job, all right, first. Well, yeah. cause where, where do you, where do you work? All right. You're a working uh, man now. I worked as uh, security uh, for the a company that was uh, watching or to being security for the AGT um, show, the American Scott Talent. So it was at the Dolby theater. So I just uh, uh-huh. stand watch, uh, make sure people don't do stupid shit. Uh, and um, yeah, so it was like my last day there. My last yeah. day. Like I was happy to go home. It was a long yeah. day. Like he was so excited. He was drinking and everything. Bro. Yeah, exactly. No, no. <laughs> and, uh, I hop on the like everything's going fine. Like I hop on the road, start leaving Hollywood, um, hitting the freeway. I'm on the freeway just cruising, and um, I come around a bend. There's this car here. Like nothing's on, so I'm like, oh okay, it's just a normal car, just like carpool lane it's doing fine so i'm just doing my own thing and then i notice it's not moving and i immediately hit my brakes because if i were to go right i would have probably sideswiped someone and just been probably worse but yeah and then um i didn't stop fast enough so i just hit them 
in the back. Hit it from behind. I like there it. There was a kid in the back seat. He didn't. <laughs> <see it. laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yeah, you can't you can't say that especially after I was making a sexual joke about hitting you from behind. You can't follow with the next sentence where so there was a kid. But I can confirm that uh music does continue to play even after you get in a, a That's good to know. I may never be listening yeah. to Ed Sheeran. <laughs> no like, you can't really that shit on my feet or else I'm telling you yeah, uh, you've, seen, you've seen that meme right where it's like please for the love of god if Ed Sheeran is playing while I get in a car accident and die do not think I like him play to my funeral I was telling you so, dude, I, I, I just want to make a playlist with like uh, if I crash in a car please be playing you know like have it <laughs> since, you're, since you're in security, I'm sure you get lots of like weirdos, right? You got any stories for us? Oh yeah, we got plenty of stories. There's uh one about a suicide attempt. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, why? Why are we laughing? <laughs> no, no. It was an attempt, right? It was an attempt. It wasn't it, a- dude? I attempt suicide every day. Okay, yeah. okay, go. Okay. Yeah, so uh, this is a different kind of security. I was working at Secret Service um, for, uh, a for the president? Uh, Secret Service? Actors, actors. Dude, he's like James Bond, bro. <laughs> bro, I was, I was dripped out. Dude, he was dripped, yeah. Uh, but it's so our shift was ending. We got off like in two hours early and uh, they're letting us go. But then there's uh, one of my coworkers is like in the back making sure like there's no sussy people walking upstairs. And- <laughs> when they're not supposed to and uh just basically as we're leaving uh there's a girl on the other side with that one co-worker and she's uh just causing an issue and um so basically like my co-worker was like okay i'm gonna have to have you to leave and stuff you're not supposed to be up here uh she stayed up there anyways and then she tried to escort her down and they would move like a couple steps and then stop and then move a couple steps and stop again and then eventually the lady turned around started walking towards the ballroom so my co-worker was like yeah i they're closing. I don't need to go there. She grabs the chair. So she thought she was going to sit down, but she brings the chair over to a ledge and then climbs up the chair and then climbs up on top, onto the ledge. And then how uh, many this, floors were you? Yeah, I was going to say this is on the fifth floor. Um, oh, geez. So what was going on in my coworkers mind is that they yeah, thought gotta get that uh, Fortnite glider, bro. They thought it wasn't uh, high enough for the <laughs> for it to do any lethal damage. <laughs> what do you mean high, <laughs> bro? Your coworkers are like, all right, <laughs> jump, do it. Obviously, obviously, <laughs> obviously uh, they said they didn't say that because, like, <laughs> what the fuck? Um, <laughs> but then she's basically stuck there, stuck there, and then more people witness, and then they're stuck there, and then uh, the coworker tries to call on the phone, and the lady turns around and is like, "Don't call the police." <laughs> Uh, and then keep in mind, uh, the lady's face was like stone cold, like no emotions. Her soul is gone. Is she an animal protagonist, bro? <laughs> you, see, you see the you see the shade above their eyes, like don't call the police. <laughs> she's like that, that, she's like putting her, her eyes too. She's putting herself like as a hostage, basically. So you're yeah. like, if you call the police, she's about to freaking yeet. It's freaking. The only time they showed emotion was whenever they were asked if they were okay, and then they just smiled. That's it. But uh, yeah, she's on the ledge, uh, and then uh, more people are like seeing it, and they're not not doing anything. And then, so this, like I said, we were leaving, we were getting off our ship. So like, um, my boss, my half boss, not my problem. I'm my half, down. I know my half boss tells my supervisor, "Hey, yo, go get uh this coworker because uh they're over on the other side." No, she didn't know what was going on uh, that we were leaving. And he walks over, he ends up seeing her, and then uh. He grabs her, like he sneaks up on her, and because she was just looking at the ground. RKO! Like, <laughs> like halfway off the ledge, according to my coworker. And then he grabs her, her skirt, and then her skirt falls down. So he grabs her shorts uh-huh. because she had shorts uh-huh. on. Dude, and then, uh, and it's then, like, anime, bro. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, he pulls her down, and then I mean, she's. Uh, and then they I don't cut- know where she's at now. Hopefully I mean, a mental hospital. Uh, yeah. and like uh, according uh, to the supervisors and stuff, her only reasoning for not hopping down is because there's kids in the way at the bottom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They would have broken the car. She's kids. I'm 235 <laughs> pounds. <laughs> no. All right. Jer, continue on your uh, car accident story because it was interesting when you told me what they said and everything oh. and how and the reason why you act like you crashed into work other than uh, you know them not having their hazards and crap, right? 
Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'll continue. Like they didn't have any of their hazards or brake lights on. So when I hit them, I was like, what the fuck? I hop, I, after I make sure my two uh, passengers are okay, I hop out and go check on them. And then I have them roll down the window. And then I was like, you guys okay? The first thing they said to me is, why did you do that? <laughs> yeah, I, I was already done with that, but I like asked again, and they just said, "No, why did you do that?" So I just ended up being like, "All right, I'm just going back to my car. You guys enjoy yourselves here." Uh, like the you know, popo shows up not even too long. Like they immediately called the police, so it's like they got there so fast. And then uh, they asked them, "Wait, the, oh wait, no, didn't you call the police, or was one of your passengers called the police?" Uh, mm, it was them. Passenger, their passenger. Uh, oh, facts. So yeah, he asked if we're okay, and then we were like, yeah, and then uh, my uncle, which was uh, in the uh, fucking passenger seat, the front one. Shotgun. Uh, yeah, shotgun. Uh, he's like, no, these fuckers parked in the carpool lane, and then uh, they pull up uh, to them, and then they pull back to us, and then these cops were like, yeah, these guys are fucking morons. They thought that was, <laughs> this is like their words. They just said they're fucking morons. They thought the carpool lane was a safety lane. <laughs> And wow. yeah, I was just like done. And then uh, we ended if up. If from Oregon, yeah. fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All our Oregon viewers I go suck a dick from Oregon. Oh, 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 uh, <laughs> family in Oregon. The funniest part is my uncle used to live in Oregon, and then he moved back down here, so he knew about the safety lane. But he was like, "The safety lane doesn't fucking exist on the left side; it's on the right side." These guys are so dumb. <laughs> Tell and, you. Hey, we pull off to like a safe place like near a park and then like uh, they're like getting the in- investigation done. Uh, my passenger in the back was like really good since I don't have a dash cam. They immediately like pulled out the form to record the hazards uh, whenever the collision happened. So like the case was already on our side. Like they were already on our side. Uh, Cotton safety, 4K. And, and then the lady, which is the one that called the uh, cops, she was the shotgun on the other side. She started trying to sweet talk us like into like, like being like, oh, like, yeah, we. If I knew it was this minor, we didn't have to call the police. Uh, we could have figured it out ourselves. Like, yeah, you know? but they, but that doesn't make sense because they called the police. Like, you can't be like, ah, oh, man, you know, yeah. you didn't have to like, kill this guy if it was gonna be that <laughs> minor. But, you know, I still already did. So, yeah, it's for the police, but we could have figured something. Out. <laughs> like, yeah, they knew they were wrong, so they started like trying to apologize, just be like, "Yeah, like I, my insurance is bad." Like, uh. Yeah, no wonder their insurance is bad. Yeah, I was talking to uh, my uncle and stuff because my insurance thought I was just driving around my hometown going to school, and uh, I was in Hollywood, which is an hour away, but. Um, That's freaking yeah, basically burn. in the end I'm like it just uh, well, we got to leave early because like we were we we obviously were in the wrong like we gave them everything and it's like uh but and, and it just goes to show how good of a drive you are. It doesn't freaking matter, there's idiots, bro. Yeah. So always wear your seatbelt. In the end, the damage for them was just cosmetic damages in the back. For me, my uh-huh. radiators fuck, so I had to leave my car in Hollywood and wait another like yeah. two hours for someone to pick me up. Did it you ever get your enough. car and how did insurance go? Uh I got my car. My car is back at my house uh, because we went and picked it up. But uh, my insurance, they called me. I almost fucked it up. I was talking to them. I was being like, yeah, I hit these guys, uh, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, in the end, he was like, all right. So it looks like we're going to have to pay for it all. And then, uh, yeah, if you guys have you have any questions or concerns, I'm like, oh, did I mention that there was, like, no traffic? These guys were just parked there, no traffic. And he's like, oh, shit, that changes everything. And so he just, uh, You yeah. freaking forehead. That's what you should open with. You yeah. can be like, yeah, dude, I rear ended these homies, bro. They were parked. Then they're like, man, this guy's a freaking no, bad I'm driver. Like, wait, they I were didn't... parked in the freeway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, I think it went well, but uh, it's still a bunch of bullshit. At least no one died, right? You'd probably be going through, like, a lot more guilt. <laughs> You'd probably be going through, like, a lot more guilt if you hit them and then some homie was, like, actually just dead, bro. Yeah, the woman it was like, uh, yeah, the, uh, my husband, which is the driver, he, his back was kind of hurting, so he's just kind of having a bad day. It's like, bitch, I don't give a fuck. You're fucking parked. I said so many bad hey, words. You parked in the call portal lane because your back hurts. My bad. <laughs> hey, yo, hold up, bro. I need to take a nap. I'm a little tired. I'm just going to fall asleep while I'm driving. <laughs> well, that's freaked. Okay. I have not. I've never even come close to falling asleep Wait. while driving. <laughs> Jerry, do you have any more stories about that job or not? Uh, I mean, there's just small, like, bunch of 
crackhead stories. I ran into uh, two Karens. Uh, but that was- <laughs> I thought you were going to say I ran into Tupac. <laughs> Dude, he was not in Colombia. I promise you. Uh, or I mean, dead. Cool. Yeah, it was oh, just the yeah, interaction was just like the interaction was like, oh, this person took something. I'm like, it doesn't matter, it's just a QR code. It's like, okay, I mean they took it. I saw him, like just <laughs> the freak. Uh and then like I mean I get to see a lot of famous people there, like all the judges. Do they say hi to you? No, I just saw them. Beating. It don't matter then. I'm scared of nobody to them. <laughs> yeah, they were on the fourth, and I was on the fifth, and I looked down and I saw them eating. Just them. spit on them. Yeah. You look down at these peasants. And then there's just a bunch. Of, Hollywood's just filled with a bunch of crackheads. This is, you know, go on the oh, street, you know, a guy's shirtless, and then yeah. one guy was shirtless. Dude, and don't on the mic. Don't get us started on Hollywood crackheads. We have fucking it's, stories. It right is. Now. We'll, we'll bring up that when we have a room. LA, podcast. LA, yeah. LA visitors. Uh, and yeah, every day was something for me at Hollywood. Like the day before I got the accident, uh, we were on the freeway and then I saw my headlights were on and working. So we had to pull into a O'Reilly's. Thank God we got let off an oh, hour oh, early. Oh, so- don't go give him a free sponsor. Just kidding. Yeah, we should be flipping that out. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. We flip it out. But uh, yeah, we bought it. And those are some <laughs> Wanted to get home after work. <laughs> Yeah, that's that must look dick, bro. I I I cannot imagine having freaking work like so far away. That shit's anything happen interesting you and your guy? I haven't talked to you guys. My coworker was lactating. Okay. No, no. <laughs> we'll talk about that. Uh, why can't we talk about that? Oh, we can we talk about the HR thing? I feel like maybe we shouldn't do that because it's an ongoing investigation. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, that gets cut out. I'm just gonna cut that part out. All right. Anyways, I had a I had a, a homie coworker. Means a boy. For any of you non uh homophobic <laughs> for any of you non male gender identifiers. Anyways, I gave him a I gave him a creamer. He's like, Bro, thanks man. Can I can I have this right now? And he like opened it up and he put it in his his uh his like shirt pocket by his nipple titty and his titty pocket. And and he was like, It's all good. And then it started leaking, it looked like he was lactating everywhere. That's pretty funny. Wow. Well, it's funny. <laughs> it's funny that I had a coworker lactate all over him. So <laughs> uh, you can't just bring that up and get away with it. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm gonna think about other crackhead stories. Sean, you got any? You, I mean, I got the guy that comes in at like five thirty in the morning <laughs> and he orders a fucking macchiato. <laughs> I make it for him, and then he fucking drinks half of it and he complains that it's cold. And I'm just like, <laughs> bro. No, some day some, some lady today bro oh my god um she she i she definitely ate the fries because i know our staff did not give it out like this but she she like showed me her large fry and it was only like half full and she's like uh is this what you think a large fry is and i was like no, no ma'am i'll get you a new one right now so i went over and I, I put i got a fresh large fry got a bag gave it to her and then she's like all right thank you but i know her ass was eating those fries bro there's no way that we gave out like a, a, a half fucking large fry i just know it's not possible yeah maybe it was fast all right or or she's like this bus actually is cold hey yo can i get some new fries i, I can't say that <laughs> You think this is acceptable? <laughs> Dude, I feel like she people do that time. On their fucking head. I just give people free shit at this point. I, it's much easier to just like get what they want oh, versus yeah. um well, fight not, them. I'm supposed to fight them on it anyways because like yeah, getting complaints. Um, yeah, Dude, our Mc- yep, I'm not even kidding. Review. Our McDonald's like Yelp review is like the worst in the fucking country room. Oh my it is. God. It is bad. I don't know why. We're like the only McDonald's yeah, that's then uh, took 25. Uh, yeah, I think the oldest employee we have is probably like less than 30, right? Or like 30s max, the oldest employee we got. Uh, nah, or no, 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 no. Okay. Old, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, okay. Any Anyone we work around with is probably like 30, like max. <laughs> but it's pretty chill. It's fun. No, no. Okay. You want me to tell you the first day I came down here, what happened? 
So do you want to talk about when we took you there on the Walmart or not Walmart the Target and then the Wendy's and crap? What happened at Target? <laughs> uh, I, I just remember you spending a lot of money. Road five hundred dollars worth of stuff. <laughs> and Boy, <what>? extracted <laughs> or extracted. No, 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 no. Please pay for it. Please pay for it. <laughs> Although, if you ever want to get away with anything, just put a bunch of shit into a trash can and Honestly, take it out the door. Yeah, you, I, they didn't check. You didn't. You didn't hear it from us. Yeah, but uh, yeah. Like, I just need to carry all my stuff that I bought. You know, when you go to Red Walmart, when you go to Red Walmart. Red Walmart, you get a great trash can and oh. you put a computer. <laughs> I, I, I remembered something about green Walmart. Like, I want I to tell that story. All you need to do is go to Pulp's Red Walmart, get a great trash can. Talk. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, get your trash can and, 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 and Target, bro. Red Walmart, what you talking about? <laughs> yeah, you get a great trash can, you put a computer in there, and then I guarantee they won't check it because, you know, for some reason they didn't check mine. All you gotta do is buy the trash can. But you didn't hear it from us. Yeah. So. Yeah, nothing. Um, yeah. And then you can probably do the same thing at, uh, at, at, uh, Blue Target. Yeah, Blue Target, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can probably you can probably get away with the same. Uh, Blue Target's a little less like you know they're probably they're they're, they're getting less uh, money. You know, uh, let, let, let's bring it. Let's bring up Green Walmart, all right? Yeah, I want to I want to bring up Green Walmart, all right? You want me to explain uh, Green Walmart? You can explain. Uh, actually, no. Hold on. We'll, we'll get to Green Walmart in a second. I want to talk about what happened at Wendy's. All right, so we were at Target. We got this stuff for his roommates, or whatever, and we dipped out, and we were like, "We're starving. We're gonna go Wendy's." And Wendy's was so bad, bro. You guys got biggie bags and stuff, but I was just laughing my ass off at the Starbucks cake pop meme. <laughs> <laughs> you, that, who, I was just like, it, <laughs> wait, bro, was it you, Tyler? It was Tyler. It was Tyler. No, was no. For some background to what happened is at, at McDonald's for our iced coffees, you just put a lid on and you shake it as violently as you possibly can. So my my shaking like wrist hand has gotten really good at a certain motion. All right, oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's it is the same hand. Anyways. <laughs> Um, so I, I went to go, like, I was fucking dicker out the Starbucks K-pop meme, and I picked up Domin's drink, which I thought only had ice in it, and I, and I, and I went to go, like, you know, shake the ice around inside or whatever, because I had previously put a little bit of, I think, vanilla ice cream in there. Someone put ketchup in there, apparently. I remember I putting ketchup in there, but I put a little bit of vanilla ice cream in there, and I wanted to mix it around with the ice. ice cream. You, you didn't even eat it, you fucking asshole. <laughs> I was eating it. And then you fucking, it was fucking with my shit while I was looking away. I put some I put some ice cream in this thing and I thought it was just ice. I was like, alright, I gotta mix the ice cream around. So it's just gotta sit on top. Little to come, there was no ice in that cup. It, it was just yeah, it was just coke. So I fucking finally like, ripped the fucking cup around and it fucking like tornado weed whackered water and coke all over us. Spilled over everything <laughs> over the food. My white shirt. My only white shirt. My oh my god. My shirt too. Dude, oh. I was like, what the freak time? Like, I wasn't even looking. Uh, and then all of a sudden I just feel like freaking I was in the splash zone all of a sudden. Just, I just Go, go freaking medivac wrap it oh my goodness dude yeah. <laughs> all over the table <laughs> I was watching the whole thing unfold and it was the funniest shit dude you tired dude Tyler was just dying laughing Jared could not stop laughing Sean panicked he's like holy freaking he just got on the napkins and I was just so confused <laughs> <laughs> like Tyler, how could you not tell by the weight that the cup is not- Because it, was, it felt like the same way. The lick was only like half. So I was like, all right, there's probably a bit of ice in there. It's probably fine. And I, I didn't. Sh- I shook it, and I didn't realize that it spilled everywhere. But I was like, why didn't I hear the ice part? <laughs> like, why didn't I hear anything? It was just a silent roll. I was like, maybe I'm a god now. And I look over, my fucking hands covered like Shinji coming on his hand. Fucking. Oh, I'll throw up the meme. Spoilers. You can't, I don't know. I can throw up. I can throw up the picture of Hancoon. Hancoon, yeah. Anyways, Where we can go back to Green Walmart now. Green, green Walmart. Right, you, you can you can that. lead into it, but you can lead it to the. I'll, I'll talk about the panic. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, the, this is what happened was me and Tyler like, bro, you want to go get sushi, man? I'm finally gonna take you on that sushi date. I was like, yeah, let's go, bro. 
and yo, we're just driving. We're still driving. And we're like, where the freak are we? Like, where where is it at? And then we pull up and we just see Walmart, but it's green. We're like, what the <laughs> freak is wrong with you? It was, it was green and I had no fucking clue what town I was in. I was like, where the fuck am I? But Donovan had seen online that yeah. there was a certain a Pokemon box that he wanted and he thought it was in a Walmart in a location that we were near. I don't think we were anywhere near it. Dude, yeah, because I remember because at first I was like, it had a similar names and I was like, I was like, Tyler, if this is where I think we are, we, you're like an hour out, Tyler. Like, how did you <laughs> mess up that bad? Uh, but anyway, so we went, we went looking around the fucking Walmart. It was just a grocery store. Like, there was no other thing but like normal shit it looked like a rite aid but more advanced right i don't think like super gro- like what was it called it was called it was called a uh, neighbor walmart or something like neighborhood walmart or something it was neighborhood grocery or something uh, yeah someone like cursed but then we were like walking out of the store and i was like so tempted to just like start fucking running up to people like what am i what? Yeah. <laughs> i was like why is there so many people in this desolate yeah land? Like, and it was like nine o'clock at night too like i don't know why that one was so packed but it was. It, it felt like we had gone to a different plane of existence. Yeah, and, yeah, then we and figured uh, out. Tyler, me, you, and Jared recently uh, passed by that. Yeah, we found the Walmart again because we went to go get sushi for um, Sean's birthday. Yes, he is now legal right. and he's can. Legal. <laughs> he's legal. My cheeks have not recovered. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean they were? You can't say that. Anyway, I'm not recovered. It's been a week. Oh, from your birthday, not prior. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, just clarify for the police and you know my member uh, anyways Sean is now legal so we went and got sushi for his birthday chilled Rock, um, right. that, was, that, that sushi was good um yes yes we are Tyler oh, fucking Mexico. somehow spilled sushi all over him you dude you dropped the him. you dropped the fucking poop bag in my car yeah, you deserve the poop bag. Dude, okay. You know, almost got a bunch of popcorn freaking... There was this nasty ass, like, saran wrap. It was just, like, a ball of ginger, and, like, oh, half of it was wasabi. It was, like, wrapped in saran wrap, but it was, like, as if someone had, like, dipped it into, like, a bucket of vinegar before giving it to us. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? But... Yeah, uh, that's somewhere still in my car. When I got in my car the next day, I was like, why do my eyes burn? And I was like, why do my eyes burn? And it was because of the fucking, like, sushi just, like, melting in my car. That was fun. But, yeah. So, shall I continue on what happened? Um, yes, that was Green Walmart. And then after, uh, go, it continued from Wendy's. We, we, from Wendy's? Yeah, we, we dropped you off and then you yeah. disappeared. Played, you guys played sad music. Mm-hmm. Oh, you had yeah, to. We, yeah, we parted. We parted. You guys went left, I went right. Yep. Did, did you, were you guys still singing? Did you guys see me part? We got yeah. him. We'll see him on Discord. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, got the I was like, I'll see him in Christmas. It's fine. Yeah, maybe. Hopefully, he is though. Like, it's not like it's not like oh, he's like an hour away. He's like th- he's like two and a half hours without traffic. So it is. It is a big. It's, it's a big. It's a big thing. And, and there are there are some times where I'm like, man, I'd love to go to Best Buy or Walmart or something. I can't just steal them. Yeah, it's very it's very saddening. But I mean, after that, bro. I could not see, bro. The, I was like going towards the sun, and I was like, "Bro, I'm gonna crash and die." They're never gonna find me. Yeah, yeah which, we which on. we we were joking about that. We were like, "Watch us get in the car, we leave." And we're like, "Oh man, Dominic's gonna go off to college." He's, I'm so proud of him. And then, and then two seconds later, you're gonna get in a horrible car accident and die, not even make it back to your dorm, and we're never gonna know. Yeah, I was like, "You're not gonna know," and I was like, "I don't even know." Like, I was like, "How long do you think it would take them to, to like find out who I am?" Contact my mom let her know send a police officer there and then my mom to like make a post like a sad boy <laughs> edit like my son got murdered <laughs> makes a fucking sad boy into like fucking it's mammal teaser <laughs> yeah. yeah it's like you it's like pictures no, of the God. accident with your head like decapitated and shit <laughs> um, it's really funny that's really funny if i die early you guys better make an edit like that and post it on the channel all right it's like with the uh, you know, and that's the remix. <laughs> like super bass booted and distorted sad ass music. Like yeah, emo like, boy shit. Like with like fucking the Simpson Simpsons uh, not good enough quotes. Tyler. 
<laughs> oh my no god. That's, that's really funny, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so go ahead and what happened after we left and you didn't die? Oh. So, yeah, no, at first I was like, dude, I can't see, bro. It's too bad. Like, I hate driving at this time. Like, I understand what Jared was talking about. He doesn't like driving at, like, uh, was it? Is it du- what, what, when's, it's when's dusk and dawn. Over? Dusk and dawn are the worst, bro. You, you dude, can't I see shit. Dude, it was awful. So I was like, please, just let me get there, all right? You know, and then I just pulled up, and then I ended up hanging out with my homies, and they were, uh, so there was only four of them, and I was expecting three more roommates, which all showed up, like, the like 21st five years right? later. Yeah. yeah, you know, the 20th. And then, so this was like the 16th. And, yeah. And uh, so I was talking to them, I, you know, was chopping up with them. I got, got to know them. I think I'm a lot more close with them. We hang out sometimes. But what we did is we went towards, like, more towards the beach. And that's when there's, like, a bunch of parties and loud stuff going on. So we were just walking over there. And we didn't, like, really find anywhere to hang out or anything, to, like, socialize. But we saw, we saw this one big party going on. And we're like, oh, those guys are partying. And we see two naked guys running out, <laughs> shrieking on the street. Meanwhile, this is literally like four hours after we dropped you. Like, you weren't even unpacked. <laughs> like, it was like yeah, four I, hours I, after I, we dropped you off. My, I don't even think my computer was set up at the time. Like, yeah, no. Like, yeah, I was like, what the? And then my other friends were like, woo. They were like, yeah. And then they like end up running back and running back into their house. And then one of the guys, we were like, Bro, what happened? He's like, he effed up. Like, <laughs> I was like, I guess, I guess he messed up. All right. That's why I was like, whatever. And then, like, not even like after that, we saw um, like there's also like a beach area, which was that my friends told me like, yeah, the beach oily, bro. We don't go in there, bro. You'll get tar on your feet. And I was like, okay, good to know. We saw like a bunch of girls. Like there was at least like fifty girls at the beach, like running out, like screaming. I was like, was well, a shark or something? Like. I don't know what the freak was going on. And then, yeah, we, I came back and I realized my feet hurt and I've never walked that much in my life. It's, it, it, it reminds me when we didn't have a car. Like, yeah, that's so true. Really. I don't know how and we that's did it. The walking I did. Dude, I, cause, cause Donovan's old place of living was like oh, yeah. through a desert and it was just, yeah. dude, I have such a bad story, bro. <laughs> I literally, so I was not a very studious child and didn't show up to class a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I had to often do Saturday school every month, which it makes up like for a day you're absent, which honestly it didn't fucking matter. I graduated in a car, like fucking a McDonald's drive through bro. Like literally because COVID was going on, I had to drive through my graduation. Like, I don't think they gave a fuck about what happened previously. I'm pretty sure they graduated every... Like, we had a 100% success rate of graduates that year. Like, it was freaked. They graduated a lot. I can promise you that. Um, Anyways, they probably didn't give a fuck about any of that. But anyways, so... He had a Saturday school, and I was like, you know what? Fuck it, bro. Saturday school starts at 7. I'm going to go to Donovan's house, and I'm going to stay the yeah, night. Well, like, and I told him to wake me up at, like, yeah. 5 a.m. so that yeah. I could be chilling, because they were going to stay up, and I was like, bro, I got a headache or something. I, need, I just need to take a nap. Yeah, no, so I, you want to know what happened? You want to know what happened? No, I no, took no. a nap in his, like, living room bed. Yeah. No, what happened is, like, so I invited all my friends over. I forgot who else was there, but I was like, Tyler, wake up. You're going to be late. <laughs> and I just remember picking him up like like I was grabbing somebody's dog tags, like just like oh, off his shirt. And I was just shaking him like constantly. <laughs> I see his head roll over to the left, roll over to the right. I'm like, yo, he's, he's dead, bro. He's not waking up. Oh, dude. Like, dude, I did that for at least three minutes straight. Like he just did not wake up. I was like, Tyler, wake up. <laughs> and then like, yeah, I, I was like, okay, whatever. You know, I, I there's nothing I can do. And then. Tyler had a way Dude, up. I went so Saturday school starts at like seven, right? I woke up at like six fifty-five and Donovan's house on a good like speed walk is like 15, 20 minutes away. 
Yeah. On top of that, I didn't have my school bag or anything. I don't even think my phone was charged or anything like that. I was just going to about to go to Saturday school with nothing. No, no, nothing. By the way, Saturday school, they don't give you anything to do. You just sit in a room and watch Netflix, like on your phone or crap, until like from 7 to 12. So it's like. That's that's what you do, Tyler. That's what you do. I don't think. No, that. That, everybody else does the same. You guys have never been to Saturday school, but everybody. Saturday. That's what they do, Sean. Everyone's just sitting there and we get yeah. lunch. We get lunch and then everyone just sits on their phone. They don't give us any work. They don't want us to make up anything or anything like that. They're just like, yeah, you just got to be here to make up for attendance so we get paid, basically. Yeah. So, and yeah, like, I didn't have anything. Not that I needed it, but I don't think I had anything on my phone to watch. So, I was just literally just about to sit there for a long ass time. <laughs> it's just nothing to do. So but anyways, I fucking fucked it, bro. I've never run ran that fast in my life because like i wouldn't mind missing it but my mother she was like all right you can you can go to donovan's and stay the night and and be all fine but if you don't make it to saturday school night tomorrow i'm going to beat your ass and you ain't gonna be able to see donovan for a year i was like oh i was like dude this is dude it was like the most freaking like cautious thing like she's never like that it's never like yeah i i'm I'm, I'm gonna beat you and you ain't gonna get nothing for a very long time it's most like all right, I'm freaking mad at you, but, like, whatever. But, dude, it was, like, the one time she was, like, I'm literally going to strip you of everything. You ain't going to have no clothes, no computer, no backpack, like, no phone. You ain't going to be able to see your friends ever again. I was, like, oh, hell no. Africa, bro. I say survive. Yeah, so I fucking booked it to Saturday school, and while I was running there, I'm getting, like, phone calls on my phone that's on, like, 2% from my mother screaming at me to fucking get to Saturday school. It's fucking bad, dude. I can't yeah, believe what, that shit what happened. Your, uh, PB, what was your personal best of running there? What was your dude, I, I got there in like four minutes. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I made it. I made it. But dude, it was... I like, And I didn't take the normal way. Because normally we walk straight to the desert. But there is like a little residential that peaks with like half the desert. I fucking ran to the residential and started booking it down the streets and like running past everybody. <laughs> like shit like that, bro. No, I was not about to be late. Is it Boulevard? No, oh, I, I ran like, through the desert, bro. Like, it was yeah. bad. I And it was, like, still freaking morning, so the sun was, like, shining my eyes. It's cold outside because it was, like, winter time, and I had, like, yeah. nothing but, like, a t-shirt and shorts on. I was fucking just fucking in the like, desert. You did the boulevard way, and you did that in four minutes? No, like, I never would have made it. I never yeah. would have. I never <laughs> made it. But still, from Donovan's house to the front of the school and running past the boulevard to get there in, like, four minutes, it was fucking insane, all right? It definitely was not winter because you just said it was summer school. <laughs> I just want to... No, no, it's Saturday. Saturday school, Saturday school it's every sat it's the first saturday of every month basically so it was probably like it was probably like december freaking like eighth and they were like hey buddy <laughs> pull up and i'm like oh. but that night was so much fun but i don't remember any of this because i just woke up to donovan like he's like bro it is or either i woke up or, or he woke me up at 6 50 he's like dude i've been trying to get you up for the last two hours <laughs> he's like he's like i thought you were dead you were shaking me around you you were like i was shaking you bro and you would not wake up that you i was doing everything <laughs> dude, dude it, it was like you overdose no cap like, like, he's gone uh, dude, no you can't <laughs> but no it no tyler it's crazy because i remember us like slow walking through there and it took us 30 minutes to get to that uh, desert and, yeah and dude, dude i was not about to be fucked for the rest of my life bro i would have never lived that moment down but Jesus Christ, dude. And then... I was, wait, when, what time did you make it, though? Like, if I if it was, like, 6.50, by the time I got out of your house and everything, I probably got there, like, 7.03 or 7.05. Like, 7.305. So, you so b- b- before the five-minute late mark. Yeah, basically. Like, I think the cutoff is, like, 15 minutes. So, technically, I probably could have been slower. But I, I, I had just woken up, so my mind was, like, <laughs> adrenaline. <laughs> like, like, I have to do this. It was, yeah, dude. <clears throat> All right, definitely though. Uh, living like here is just—I I don't know how to explain it because I—I I wouldn't say it hit me, but you know, it's it, a little bit. It's I'm like, what the frick, bro? Why did I wake up here? You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I got, I gotta There's go back point there. <laughs> yeah, no, dude, you know what it feels like? It feels like I was traveling in uh, Minecraft, right? And then I just pulled up to a, like a village. 
and I just stole one of the villagers' beds. And every <laughs> single time I die, I come back there. That's right, bro. Also, I just realized that Sean's profile picture moves when he talks. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's a reason I didn't pick one that had a gift. But the- <laughs> Man, my, my, the file size is going to be huge, bro. It's going to take forever to upload so and render. Sorry. <laughs> Look at him. Stop shaking your head. Shaking your head. Uh, hey, Jared, I'm looking at you. Sean, how do you feel about... Uh, well, what, what can we get to get him to say no to? Uh, do, do you like your mother, Sean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to do a fucking slow zoom on the fucking Ray's face during that, bro. It's going to be so funny. <laughs> Sean, do you advocate against drug use? No, you should do all the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so you did not have se- sexual relations with that girl. <laughs> yes, yes, no, no, no. <laughs> yes, wait, wait, no. <laughs> the double negative always wins. The lawyer's just like, ah, I got you. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you. Yeah, I'll just be a lawyer and I'm like, did you not kill this man? Uh, yes. I wait. What is? Dude, I'm telling you, that is that is the no, face no, I would have no. seen if I was late to that Saturday school, bro. <laughs> like, that's your, mm-hmm. that's your mom. Yeah, no, yeah. making it school. <laughs> oh my god! All right. Um, you want to tell us about your first day of college, Donovan, and what you saw, and and what could be possibly beneficiary to the to the podcast? <laughs> What do you mean what I saw? What do you mean what I saw? What, what you were told about. But just go through your like first day. Because I haven't actually heard of it yet. Like you haven't told me everything. Okay, I I'll just tell you my board. Hey, what you, how was your day at school? You know. <laughs> so at uh Thursday, I only had computer sites. I woke up like ten minutes before and I was like popping. You know, they were just giving us some basic function type crap, you know, big brain type stuff. And then my second day, bro, dude, it was freaked, bro. I had to get on the bus, and it was like freaking like fifty kids on that bus, bro. I don't know why there were so many kids. And uh, yeah, I have a film class, so they forced us to watch a movie. And I was like, bro, I was like, what the freak? And I had to take so much notes. You had to get on a bus. Yeah, I got on, I got on a bus, and then I used my longboard because I'm off campus. I'm like fifteen. No, but I, I just wouldn't think like it's not a school. But it's like a normal bus, like a shuttle. Yeah, it's a it's a normal yeah. bus. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I saw when we were there like some transportation shuttle, but it's just yeah. super. It's super weird to think that you're paying like a lot of money, probably like forty to seventy grand, and they just put you on a school bus. <laughs> so, no, no. no, also there's something called dining halls and. Uh, Recently, students like okay, our school like okay, I'm calling out Santa Barbara, all right? Santa Barbara had admitted so much students that the reason why I'm in a room of with seven other people, so like mix eight of us, is because they admitted so many students, and I'm in a a junior slash like sophomore, so like second and third year like apartments, but I'm a first year because normally I'm supposed to be in a dorm on campus, so like yeah, they have to get so used to much people. And then, um, yeah, like my math class had like 800 people in there. Like it was the, it's like the biggest uh, freaking, uh, what is Math it? class in history. Yeah. No, like, I, like they have like this place the called. class had yeah. more students in it than our fucking high school. Yeah, it's, the, you. <laughs> it's the, it's the classic anime trope where they go into a freaking auditorium and they got that, the seating room. Yeah. Basically that's exactly what it was. And then I had uh, my theater one, which was prior. And yeah, we watched uh, this one movie and it had the meme of that clapping meme. If you can find that meme where the guy just gets up and he's just like, just was clapping like a maniac. That, that, that's the movie I watched. I don't know if you know what it is. I think I know what you're talking about, but there's no Citizen way. I'm... Kane. I am. Um, Kane, I think it's I've never seen him, but oh, why? what yeah. class is that for? It's, it's for a fi- it was like film analysis, basically. It's like film and cinema. So you just like, watch movies and then give yeah. an opinion? Legit. I'm pretty sure. No, I'm pretty sure we're going to watch movies, take a cr- quiz on it, and write like a paragraph on like, why is this significant? I mean, it's better than reading a book, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather freaking do a, a, a film-like thing than a, like a book thing. Yeah. But I think they're just going to give us like old 1980s like Western movies. But we'll see. Oh yeah, and then I met I met with the weebs that day. 
So like, Lance, after did you find your people? Around, no, it was cursed. Cause I went with another friend that I randomly made, you know, like on discord and stuff. That is my echo fighter. Cause they, all right, listen, look, they, they, they play race. I play race. Which is I have the picture. I don't know why Sean has the cursed race. Because <laughs> no, 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 I, I sit that I sit, I sit that as a joke. I was like, I'm looking for a race picture, and this is the one I edited. And I sent that in a joke in in this uh, in our VC, right? And Sean's like, here we go, and he just changed it. But yeah, um, so yeah, they like that. They also they're also a, a Genshin player. They play Zhao, which is on the first podcast. Uh, I had that profile picture. Well, we got a comment yeah. for them. He's like, nice profile picture. Yeah. You don't remember? You remember? Like, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, no, they were like, the Zhao profile picture? I was like, <laughs> go. So, yeah, they're also a Zhao main, which I'm like, what the frick? But they're, they're bigger. They're, they're a bigger whale. And then <laughs> uh, they're the only person that knew of Noragami, Tyler. I've asked so many people. <laughs> and they don't know what Noragami is. But Damn. they're like, yeah, I like Noragami. So I was like, this person's an echo fighter, I promise you. Or a clone. No, we'll just replace him with you. We'll steal him. Yeah, yeah, I'll bring them in there, and then, um, yeah, they'll just be me, all right? They currently have a race profile picture, which is cursed. But, yeah, um, so, yeah, I was hanging out with them, and then we left, because there's a place called Sizzle My Lunch or something, which is, like, a Asian-type food that you, like, they, ha- they have your food, like, raw, like, like, I had, like raw beef, and it's, uh, it's called a... I'd, Udon? Is that how you say it, Jerry? You know what that food is? Udon. I think it's Udon. Udon? I don't know. Yeah. That sounds like an Udon thing. I think it's Udon. It's like just make the big noodles Udon and stuff. Udon is nuts. Yeah, Udon. Yeah, so it was Udon, right? And then, like, you, like, mix it in. You, like, you cook it yourself, basically. And that's where everyone was supposed to meet. But they had, like, 20 weebs out there, bro. Like, there were so much people. They were going to, like, look like they were going to raid the whole place. And they were motoring. And I was like, uh, okay. So I just ate my food. You know, I hung out with them because we end up, they end up trying to raid. Uh, so like in the dorms, they have like little like lounges, right? And they were trying to find a lounge that was open so we could fit, you know, like the 30 people that, the 30 weeps that were, you know, coming in. And yeah, we didn't find one. So we're outside. We did like a circle, named our animes that we liked and all that jazz. And then now we're here. Cause was that yesterday? Uh, today's oh, yeah, the it? 25th. Yeah, because that, that was Friday. Friday was my other, my in-person classes. So yeah, that was yesterday. And I was so tired, I fell asleep at like 10, which I usually don't do. And I normally up all night. But I, how, how are you liking it so far? Living on your own and um, stuff? I mean, I mean, not, if I, I feel like I have lived closer to campus, because I have to board everywhere. Like, it's also weird, because a lot of people don't know, but th- this place is like, bike culture like there's so many bikes like yeah so many i mean racks. santa barbara is also like 15 miles long like like you yeah. wonder why he's saying he has to board everywhere it's because it's like literally huge and he, long. you do have a car but it's not like you can just <laughs> sleep the car <laughs> on the fucking bike paths <laughs> no, like, there's no there's no parking bro like parking is absurd like how much yeah. stuff. yeah why don't you go ahead and tell people how much you're paying for a year park because uh, I think this is out fucking outrageous. All right, all right. We have a guessing game. All right, Sean, you're up to the bat. You get you get one guess, and then it goes to Jared. How, how much is <laughs> on parking? All right, more. All right, all right, Jared, you go, and that goes back to Sean. How much? How, how much do you think I pay for parking a, for a year? Oh, yeah, like a like a, a semester of college, not a semester, but like a year of college. <laughs> I don't know. It's <laughs> Sean said 200. 200. <laughs> 200. Sli- slightly more. All right. All right. That's, 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 that's like counts. Yeah. $450 for parking. That's absurd because insane. My parking is like 10 minutes away from me. So it's not even worth it. Um, I mean, it's good to have a car somewhere. So you're not just stranded. You can actually leave. But yeah, I, I'm just glad I had to pay 450 So I don't have to pay, you know, another 300 fine for my car to be parked, you know upside down in a parking lot illegally <laughs> it's just... dude i would not even be surprised if they're like all right well we can store your cars but we have to put them in like a shipping container and we're gonna put them like upside down and like however many we can oh. put in there because there's so many students telling you but no most of the students don't bring their cars and you know and the, the thing is the dumbest thing is the place that i'm i have an apartment at is the only place that doesn't have parking it's so, like they i got shafted bro 
That'll hey, be you're like off camp. I mean, there is some parking in the other side at the on that corner, but I don't think you can actually park there. No, it's it, it was just like moving stuff. Like it's like closed. It's weird. really damn. Yeah. Probably because they couldn't allow everybody to use their car there. Dude, yeah. can I just say, the when we had to park to drop your stuff off, it was the most cursed thing ever, bro. Like, they gave us these giant tubs to fucking dump your shit into. And I was not supposed to be there in my car, even though I had half your stuff in my car. So I literally yeah. pulled up, rip, ripped your stuff out, broke a box, <laughs> and yeah. shoved it in the thing, and then zoomed off to another freaking, like, parking, like, five minutes away. And I had to walk back to you guys. Yeah, and you you peered up fast, but no. Then I was like, "Hey guys, you go get my other stuff while I'm like putting on, like situating some other stuff." <laughs> you guys do everything so freaking, dude. Yeah. You like get it all like upside down and like <sighs> inconvenient. Yeah, awesome. and that and that quote that you were gonna use in the gloves. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> these gloves are just stuck in here, bro. I don't need them. They're for my car. If my uh, did you at least use the quotes? The what? The quilts, the giant bed freaking blanket and sheet and stuff. Yeah, I use it. Nice. See, I but told I you you were gonna need it. Blanket because I think, dude, it, it, <laughs> it would it's weird. Break the bunk bed, you freaking crush the whole. <laughs> no, I. I oh my god, I have to say something about your setup. <laughs> like, what? so currently Donovan is in a room with three other people. There, yeah. his his desk is at the foot of a bed facing the bed, but yeah. he sleeps on the top bunk of that no, I don't of that. The top bunk. I was going to, but then I told the homie like we we talked. It, I was like, oh really? Okay, because you were gonna stare at him all night. I mean, I told him that, but stare at him while he sleeps. So, essentially, how it was originally work is Dom's gonna sleep like above his computer, and then his computer is gonna be like facing this bed. Like his monitor's gonna be on the like f- like his this homie's feet and monitor gonna be like two feet away from each other, right? So every time Dama just like leans over, he just sees his homie like taking a nap. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, dude, that is gonna create some awkward tension between you guys. Nah, sexual tension. I, I, the guy, the guy's from Indonesia. That has nothing to do with. It. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna that's say. Just, but, fuck, so that have to do with anything. Know, that's just a fact. I, I guess that is a, that is a fact. He's from Indonesia and his dad owns a mining company. Is that like doxing? <laughs> I didn't. Our I viewers, didn't our viewers find him and assassinate him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and then there is one of your homies that knows about our channel, right? Yeah, it's the, it's the homie that's like would be to my left, but he's not here right now. His name, uh, I, I can't say his name. Do you want to say hi? Like, <laughs> uh, say hi. Well, what do you mean? Say hi. Say hi to him. <laughs> say wow. say right right now. You're in his bed <laughs> no. while recording your podcast, fully nude. No. Yeah, bro. I'm sorry if you come in right now. I'm nude. Um, I oh my gosh! That's what I'm recording. <laughs> we, we could we could probably fill up an entire another podcast just about shit that we were laughing at and and stuff yeah. about you moving out Mountain Dew plant. Yeah, we were gonna we were gonna fuck with this. Uh, I told one of my roommates. I told him I was gonna come up. Like, like, like we we're gonna pull up and uh, pull up with the Paw Patrol plushie and like everything. He's like, you know, in the poster. He's like, bro, you should have did it, bro. <laughs> he's like, he's like, yeah, we need some decorations in here. <laughs> that is freaked. But we, we were gonna do a bunch of stuff to fuck with his his homies. Like, just get a giant uh. uh gallon of like elmer's glue take off all the labels and write experimental donovans and put it in the fridge and, yeah. <laughs> and then we're also gonna get a, a fake plant that he like waters every day yeah i was gonna say i was gonna water it every day but i was like or just, i'm like sometimes be like mm, he's thirsty for some mountain dew today and just pour it in there and then first i'll be like what the freak what and two like wait this b ain't real like, oh, yeah you yeah. water it watering every day yeah oh my gosh but we can definitely flip a whole other podcast. But we are out of time. We are out of time. We are pretty we're close to it. Touch. Is it? Is it, is it uh... We're at we're at fifty nine minutes and forty five seconds. Ah uh, no! So we should start wrapping up. Uh, oh yeah. God, what? I I almost forgot our you know our phrase, Tyler. Yeah. Um, uh, oh. <laughs> 
You, you forget? Oh, fuck hoes, eat bitches. <laughs> <laughs> no, our, our phrase is show's over. I just end the podcast right there. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, looks um, like the show's coming to an end. No, but we have to plug. I have to plug. We had to plug. Okay. All right, here's the plug. All right, this is where I'm putting in that Evangelion uh, recap music right now. Uh, okay. Oh, no. All right. Hey, guys. Next podcast is going to be our camping podcast, followed by... Actually... It'll, it'll come up before. The vlog will come out first. Yeah, the vlog's going to come out, and then we're going to do the camping podcast to go with it. So it makes sense to tell you what happened. Because it's kind of a collage of what we did, you know, a little bit of stuff. Because we didn't record a traditional vlog because we're, you know, we're not lame, man. You know, I don't want to be like, hey guys, we're taking a pee. Which we did. <laughs> it, it is in the video. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, did, we did have a whole five minute section about taking a piss. Um, it's like majority of it. I don't want to make any promises, but we are going to be trying to do more podcasts. Be, yeah. But Donovan, me and Sean... Oh, uh, well, Dom does college, Sean does work, and I do both. But we are we are very hectic, hectically balance. scheduled. So we're we're cracking down on scheduling, and, uh, and we're gonna actually record. We have a bunch of other stuff in the works. I got I got a, a bit of a series with Sean going on. Sean has two other one-off videos that he has to put out. Um, we got some good stuff coming, and then Halloween's right around the corner. I want to do some spooky episodes. And then it's gonna be the end of the year. Horror game. I'm and then, screaming my roommates here be like, what the way? Throw a girl in your room? Like, nah, it's my scream, bro. So <laughs> I, I'm very excited for the end of the year because there's plenty of stuff that we have opportunity to uh, do. Yeah. So and then I'm gonna I'm gonna make a short if I end up getting that studio, like cause there's like an on campus studio that I could apparently record. Yeah. So that would that'd be cool. And you did get a laptop, so now you can actually yeah. do that too. It is facts. All right, well, if you enjoyed the video, uh, do the uh, things that other YouTubers ask like, you to like, do. Subscribe, <laughs> you know, check out our video. Everyone just ended. Um, check out all our other videos, like our podcast, if you're starting on this one for whatever reason. Um, also, I want to... Being- I- I think I've said this like twice in other podcasts, but I, I, I really want to use the Instagram, all right? So... Do it. I will. I we need content to put on the Instagram, all right? So I need a, I need a, content. Right? There's you plenty of content. Clip, I'll go through. I'll go through it. Clip it. Watch all Everhood again. We'll do a binge. We'll take our funny moments. Put it on. And we can we can start a reacts Instagram channel. <laughs> Watch clips of us playing shit. Pursuits reacts to. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, we'll see y'all next Make week you or something. Comment on uh, you know what you want us to see. You know we're up to stuff. Up to all your eyes, uh, guys' ideas, and yeah. yeah, and hopefully you're satisfied. Shows over. Shows over. Shows over. Shows over. Shows over. All right, guys. Show. Oh. <laughs> what? Guys, show is over. What is <laughs> all right, guys. Stop it. Bye.